Richard Walker has been trying to conquer aging since he was a 26-year-old free-loving hippie. It was the 1960s, an era marked by youth, Vietnam War protests, psychedelic drugs, sexual revolutions. The young Walker relished the culture of exaltation, of joy de vivre, and yet was also acutely aware of its passing. He was haunted by the knowledge that aging would eventually steal away his vitality, that with each passing day his body was slightly less robust, slightly more decayed. One evening he went for a drive in his convertible and vowed that by his 40th birthday, he would find a cure for aging. Walker became a scientist to understand why he was mortal. Certainly it wasn't due to original sin and punishment by God, as I was taught by nuns in catechism, he says. No, it was the result of a biological process, and therefore is controlled by a mechanism that we can understand. Scientists have published several hundred theories of aging, and have tied it to a wide variety of biological processes. But no one yet understands how to integrate all of this disparate information.